to the second half of Fracture Orders, episode 17. We're going to get, uh, we got two more hours here, so glad you all could be here for that. And uh, let's, uh, let's see, let's see what, uh, what they do with it. What's wrong with this planet? Now, I'm not someone to say, oh yeah, fucking genocide, let's kill everyone. But like, let's at least consider <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that Black Mirror episode last uh, yesterday. Well, uh, with the Mul hashtag. Uh, uh, well, Mulan, you might hate me now. I do, but just kidding. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I was gonna say I wouldn't hate you. I would just be confused by your existence. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> Uh, cool. So, there is one PC turn left in the order, and we all know whose it is. Yay! Uh, Ken. So, okay. the, the speeder's busted. You thought you were getting away. What do you do? Um, gonna jump out, uh, on the, uh, on this side. Okay, yeah. And... <laughs> Jumping out? Yeah. <laughs> And I'm gonna attack those guys. All right. Uh, so it is is a melee brawl. Now Gaffy sticks have a cool thing called defensive, which means they get yeah. plus one melee defense. So you get a black dice on it. Um, do you you don't remove any black dice from all um, checks? Do you? No. Okay. All right. Whenever I assume what you're going to do is just bash some heads in, right? Yeah, I'm gonna use martial grace. I'm gonna suffer two strain to add damage to ranks in court. Okay. Combat. Which is how many ranks exactly in coordination? Three. Okay. No, wait, four. All right. So you add four damage to this roll. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. No. Boom. So yeah, take take that one additional strain unless you can do something with it. Uh. uh no. So it's going to be, uh, what, 13 damage total? Uh, four plus, uh, all right, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Min, 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 big number. Yeah, so, so, so Ken, can you, uh, can you describe for us how you take out this entire group of, uh, sand <laughs> people? <laughs> so the thing is, uh, Sian comes on something that I like, uh, <laughs> Um, basically, Kin is going to jump out and start uh, landing blows, and then he's just going to start spinning his torso. <laughs> Perfect. No. Are you doing the, the Simpsons technique where you spin your arms around? Yeah. yeah. If, if you, if basically you helicopter it around. Yeah. yeah. If I hit you, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just start yeah. spinning your arms around, and you just like start beating the crap out of these guys and all yeah, the all torso th was spinning yeah you're just becoming a blur of motion and all three of the uh the sand people on that side just get repelled back and are all unconscious on the ground when you're done yeah Sounds okay all right good anything else skin um no i'm gonna just stay where i am because i use my microphone. perfect all right. Uh, so yes. it's the start of the turn order again. So anyone can go. Any of the um, PCs can go that that choose to go. Does anyone mind if I go? Sure, I'll take the next one because I want to do something stupid. Having seen can clear out that side of the speeder. Jax would just like vault over it, um, so he's on the other side of the speeder. I'm okay. assuming that's a maneuver. Yeah, it's a maneuver to get cover? out, and then if you wanted to take a maneuver to take cover behind it, that's totally cool, too. Do I have, totally I cool have to do a maneuver to get out? Well, yeah, because you're, like, I, in a I, seated I, I position. Was hanging, I was just hanging. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I would get out that side. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I would have to take another maneuver, but then I don't get an action unless I suffer two strain. I Correct. don't have a whole lot of strain. <laughs> Um, so Remember yeah, though, I, uh, after encounters, you can do like the one-time recovery thing. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I, I don't have a whole lot of anything for the encounter, right? <laughs> right. Sure. No, as I totally get it. As a player and as a Jax, I'm in uncharted territories of vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not playing a crazy Trandoshan this time. I it's care true. if I pass out. <laughs> it's true. 
<laughs> go deeply. Um, so I think I will. These guys are at short range, right? The ones in front of us and the uh, guys. Yeah, the guys on the other side of the spear are at short range. The guys up on the up on the hill are at medium range. Okay. Um. So I need to. Um. Quickly. Oh wait, I have it written down right here. Uh, after successful combined check with two additional hits can be allocated to any target within the range of perfect. Awesome. So I'm gonna shoot at the guys right in front of us with my pistol. Okay. Uh, so you're taking the two strain to take an action, or are you not no. taking cover? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Taking cover would be a maneuver. Correct. I'll be right back. So I would take two strain to take an action. If you wanna, if you wanna both jump out of the vehicle for one maneuver, take, take cover for so one maneuver, and then take an action. And, Okay. Um, can I decide if I want to take that strain after I shoot? Yeah, you could. You could take like you could take your action now, and then if yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, then take exactly. the yeah take the cover maneuver as your cool. last thing. You I do. am gonna yeah. aim at them as an incidental because it's short range. Yep, totally fine. I get one blue dice. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think. That is that yeah. So I'm okay. I'm ready to make the roll. Go for it. Um. Oh, and you have to. So it's short range, but you have to increase the difficulty by one. Cause oh, because you're gonna shoot both. with both. Okay. Yep. No I'm problem. Both. So it's an average check. Yeah. No problem. All hmm. right. So. Would you like to critical I... them? Um. If I that's crit them, kills. I think you. I don't think you can. Spending can. one, two advantages to. Oh, I could, I could spend three advantage to crit them and not shoot them with my right, exactly yeah. grapple gun. Right. Would that wipe the group? Because if it would wipe the group, I would. But if it would, or am I allowed to know that? I I would tell you. I would I would say either you shoot your second gun or you cause a critical. It's up to you. Okay. Before I give you the not, results, I'm gonna not shoot my. Se I'm gonna shoot my second gun. Okay. Uh, because I'm going to actually wait. What does ensnare do again? It basically makes it so they can't move unless they make a hard athletics check. But they could still take an action. Yeah, so they could. They could still like if something is engaged with them. Yeah, if something is engaged right, with I'm them, they can hit them in the face. I'm, I'm just gonna crit the guys in front of me. Yeah, absolutely. So you, um, the first guy with your first shot, because again, you're not just shooting one shot, right? You're like blasting a bunch of times. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you you crit the first guy. He takes it right in the head and he falls over backwards. Um, and then you. Basically, you just fan the hammer down the line, right? And uh, with the the residual 10 damage that you deal, it is enough to eliminate both other... Alright, and I am gonna suffer. If I take cover, does that give me... What does that give me? Uh, it gives you basically one defense. So uh, anything to I shoot at you will get... black dice. Correct, yeah. Anything to shoot my... at you okay. would get a black dice it... to hit you. All right, and it, and that would stack with my defense. Yep. All right, cool. Then I will suffer two strain. Cool. Bugger me, and take cover behind the speeder. All right. Zian, you said you wanted to go next, right? Yeah, because I got something dumb. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, so, as just like an incidental free whatever, I'm just gonna yell out like I gave you a chance sure. to <laughs> negotiate peacefully, uh, and then I'm gonna throw a bantha into the chieftain. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I'm assuming it's a silhouette 2. It is indeed a silhouette 2 creature. So I'm going to aim, because you can do that. You can do that, yeah. So it would be uh, 2 purple and then a blue onto my discipline check uh, force roll. So and do you I've, need, got the, do you... I've got it set up in the force power to oh, okay. roll a discipline. Cool, so. perfect. Um, yeah, so it's an average check with the one blue dice to aim. Yeah. Um, and so normally you would, I'm, I'm just trying to, for my own sake, uh, to get it up there. So it's short range to get it up there to him, but it's at, well, it's so at medium it, range from you. So you would so need I have one. the range power to uh, right. upgrade it. So we have to see if I have the pips to do it. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, yeah, so, so go we'll, uh, we'll see. Use the dark side. Uh, it does not succeed in the first place, uh, unfortunately, but I am going to definitely take some conflict because I doing some bad shit so yeah uh, that you're not work. you're using another living creature to try and harm another living creature yeah <laughs> like the bantha is and innocent I'm angry here, about it 
Right. Yeah, yeah. sure. So yeah, I would definitely uh, say take some conflict and a strain there as well. Yeah. Because you're probably like, I gave you a chance, and then like you look at the Bantha, and it just gives you puppy dog eyes as you try to launch it, and you feel conflicted about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't want to purport any violence. I'm just going to launch the Bantha. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, that, it's, it's kind of that uh, that Anakin thing, you know, where he's he gets frustrated pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, and kills a bunch of children. Yeah, we're not going that far. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I we're that. I don't remember the scene where Anakin was launching banthas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fair. Um, okay, uh, do you want to take two strain and use another maneuver, or are you good? Uh, yeah, I'll take two strain and um, do you duck into cover okay. back here yep. or something. Yeah, that's totally, totally acceptable. Uh, because... Yeah, the the chieftain, he he doesn't like you trying to to, you know, negotiate with him. Uh mm -hmm. so I think that he is he sees you as a threat. Uh also you did also just threaten him. So he's going to take his shot at you. Uh yeah. it's medium range, you have cover. Do you have any defense? Uh no. Okay. And he's going to aim as well. Uh and he's going to attack with his sand panther hunting rifle. Ooh. All right. Uh, so that's gonna hurt. Uh, uh, he, he can't. He can't critical you. But let's see. I always forget accurate on him too. He's supposed to get a, an additional. Uh, it's done. Additional blue dice. The blue dice is for aiming. So whatever. Oh, Doesn't oh. matter. Uh, but hold on. There is. Uh, so that puts puts me at my wound threshold. Okay. Yeah. So, so so Zian just passes out. Yeah, Zian takes oh. a shot like in the shoulder and then just like oh, passes wait, out that... on the ground. No, wait, you can do half yeah, things can, on this, I think. Can me... your, you can be on a threshold. Yeah, let me just double oh, check. Oh, yeah, below. no, correct. You can you can be on your threshold. Sorry, I thought you yeah. said it, it brought you over. No. Yeah, so you get you get hit pretty hard and <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you you get sent reeling uh and now you yeah. and Jax are nursing Injuries next to each other. Yep. Um, Kim will just yell, "Can you pull them down to me?" <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that was. Jax will just look at him and like give him a nod, like I get what you. Say. Or you know, toss me. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, that's it for his turn. He's pretty satisfied with what's going on. Uh, so it's another PC's turn. Who wants to go? That is not Jax or Z. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, coming in, just, uh, the things with my laptop are going buggy. You're right there. No worries. I'm here. Yeah. Uh, do you, so do you want to go I'm next? I'm currently in the cover of, uh, the, um... Yeah, you're, you're, like, inaccessible because you're inside the vehicle still. Uh, what's the range here? It's medium range. Uh, could I possibly move to make it short range? Yeah, if you want to, well, so it takes a maneuver to get out of the vehicle, and then you could take a second maneuver to, like, you know, run up and to here or whatever, and then it would be short range, yes. Uh, to where? To, like, right here. This that. is probably, like, where you can go with That's fine. Maneuver. I'll, I'll go here, so I'm guessing I'll suffer two strain. Yeah, if you want to take an action as well, yeah. you'll have to suffer two strain to do that. Yeah. So, uh... I'm going to dash, uh, seeing as, um, uh, so the thing is, he could still see through the tinted windows, right? Yeah, yeah, you can see what's going on, just like you can, whatever you can see as a character, I designed my mouse very specifically, for whatever you can see as a character is what you can see as a character. So basically, I would say that he has seen, uh, he has seen, uh, everyone, uh, take out the, um, the immediate uh attack on us but then as he as he exits he notices the uh three figures on the hilltop and um runs up and of course uh runs up here because uh he wants to try mm -hmm. and uh engage them himself and uh does he also notice the um the rock that's kind of like 
um, almost uh, at the point of like uh, tumbling down. So and being that dust. didn't that doesn't actually exist because it was that's not it what the triumph. Well, so that's not what the triumph was used for. Does that makes sense. Oh, okay. That was a suggestion of what the triumph could be used for, but since it wasn't, it that doesn't exist unless like you roll another triumph, right, and then you spot it or whatever. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm going to try and uh, hit uh, the chieftain. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the chieftain. Make sure I get everything right here. Yep. Hello. So he is at short range from you. Yeah. Uh, which is this. Um, and yeah, I think it's just a. I think it's just that he doesn't have any range defense. So go for it. Uh... Oh wait, hold on. I also forgot, uh, he's adversary too, so. Oof. Okay, there you go. Whenever you're ready. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Cool. Well, so, uh, but there's no thing. difficulty on there. Uh, oh. why not? What? So, oh, I put the dice in the wrong spot. I apologize. Here, let me just, <laughs> I'm just going to roll the difficulty and then we'll do it manually. Because I, I don't want to take away your triumph. Uh, okay, so you get one success and a triumph. Oh, That's it. One Ooh. success and a triumph is what you get. Um, so, so um, eight damage total, which is enough to break through his soak. So you can, with the triumph, you could cause a critical, or you could cause something else advantageous to occur. Make him slide down. Yeah, I, um, I, re I would make the chief and uh, tumble down from uh, the unexpected uh, yeah. shot uh, from the unexpected uh, yeah. shot from the person that just ran up and shot at him. Absolutely, yeah. I think that what happens is how it works is like you run, like as you're running, you take the shot, right? And it hits him in the leg and it kind of drops to one knee and slides on the sand and then just tumbles down the, the cliff face. Um, uh, I'll, give I... him, I'll give him another wound for that as well. Just because I'm okay, a benevolent. Uh, could I pretend... Uh... Could I make an action to intimidate, or is that already? You already did your action. Yeah, okay, I mean, so like, if you wanted to I'm use an action, done. but you've already, yeah, you've already done all that, so. Yeah. Um, so now it's some NPCs' okay, turn. I'm, I'm done. Uh, I just realized I need to remove one of these NPCs' turns, because all the, <laughs> all the mooks are dead. Um, so, oh. the two huntsmen up on top, they see you shoot at their leader, and they're not very happy about it, so the first one is going to shoot at you. I want his right. Um... So let's see. Let's remove all that. And be very careful about not having extra dice here. Okay. So uh, he's going to take his oh. aim. I'm technically in cover, also, right? Uh, technically not, because you didn't take the maneuver too. Technically, like, you're right. So, so imagine like that's where you end up, but the turn is still going. So they're shooting at you as you're running there, basically. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Um. And, okay, it does not. Cool. So, yeah, this one's gonna take a shot at you. Uh, he's gonna take aim, so he gets one blue dice, and he gets, it's just a, do you have any uh, range defense? Uh, how do I see if I have any range defense? Uh, so, I mean, it should, you should have put it on your character sheet, but what type of armor are you wearing? Uh, I am wearing, um, what armor was it? I, I think it was, uh, heavy armor? No, you just upgraded it. I thought, right? Yeah, it, I did. You got padded. 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 Um, I think it's the defense one. Uh, it is no. It has no defense. Padded armor has no defense. Got two soak, um, and no yeah. defense. So, uh, cool. So they're going to, or this first one at least, is going to make his attack, and we'll see what happens with a slug thrower. Wait, didn't he get armored clothing? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Does, doesn't matter, I missed. So yeah, the first one, okay. uh, a puff of sand appears at your feet where he misses, right? Okay. Um, I think that the second one, appropriately, is going to uh, take a shot at you as well, seeing that his friend failed. Of uh, course. And... So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he has a defensive one. So I'm pretty sure he got heavy, heavy clothing, because padded armor, you said, might, like, elicit weird looks from... Well, so you have armored clothing. Which, what does it say on your character sheet, Dash? Uh, damn it, I don't remember. Uh, padded armor. Padded armor, yeah, it says padded armor on his character sheet. Okay. 
Uh, so I'm going to make the second roll for this Huntsman. Oh, he misses as well. Lucky for you. So yeah, just... Lucky Dash. It's, so the group of you are, like, all taking cover behind the speeder, and Dash just, like, bursts out, is screaming, <laughs> is, like, running, shoots the guy off the cliff. Fire! <laughs> right, yeah. the fire! Like, there's just, there's just slug thrower, like, slug rounds, like, blasting all around him, and he's just, like, running and shooting and being like a scene from tombstone general psychotic in this instance no. um so uh let's see let's see if the banthas noticed you being weird there uh uh Zian. yeah uh what is perception is with cunning right uh perception is with yeah i think it's cunning mm -hmm. Right. Yes, it is. I can confirm. Let's see yeah. here. Can confirm. Whatever I don't oh, have. pretty cunning. Yeah. Whatever Kin doesn't have, that's what it's with. Yeah. <laughs> can confirm. Can. Kin nope. is not very cunning. They are, they are still <laughs> aim... are even less cunning than Kin. <laughs> they are aimlessly wandering about. Or the same. Right. Look, Kin is the bronze of the operation and I have the brains. <sighs> True. Uh, so, Kin and Mouse, you each have your turns left. Yes. I'm going to uh, go last because I figure that is thematically appropriate. <laughs> I was thinking maybe... Okay, yeah, all right. Then Kin is going to run over to the Chieftain. Yeah. However long that is. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you can get there in, in a maneuver. It, yeah. Like, get to short... Like, you're at medium range, get to short range in a maneuver, and then get to engage in probably another maneuver. So it probably does take two maneuvers to get to him. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna suffer through strain to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh... yeah, he he brings up his weapon, which doubles as a gaffy stick, because he also has a gaffy Ooh. stick, and he's uh, like he's preparing after he stands up and dusts himself off. All right, uh, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna attack and I'm gonna suffer another two strain to increase the damage. All right, so uh, average, Oof. he has one defense and. Suffering two more strain to increase the damage, so it's plus yeah. four damage on the roll. Uh, and yeah, where? Oh wait, hold on. I always forget. He has adversary. Uh. All right, whenever you're ready. Hey, yeah. nice. Uh, yeah. So you, uh, it's nine damage, yeah. right? No, it's like five. Oh yeah, nine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right, because yeah, yeah. you you suffer the yeah, two yeah, strain yeah, to increase. Yeah. Um, which does, he does take wounds from that. Uh, so Ken, like, he probably, like, blocks your first blow, and then you, like, gut punch him, right? Um, yeah. and he kind of, like, you, you hear him, like, cough and sputter, and you've, uh, you've dealt him some wounds. He looks, he looks injured now after tumbling down the cliff and then getting gut punched by you, uh, Ken. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna, uh, since it's, uh, brawl attack, I'm, I'm gonna say that this uh, with uh, 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 sorry, not going for wounds. Let's go. I'm going to try to knock him out. Oh, you want to you want to do strain to him? Yeah, I'm going to get strain out. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, then he looks uh, not mechanically disoriented, but he he appears to be dazed by yeah. your blow. I'm slap I'm slapping him upside his head. Yeah, absolutely. He he has strain because he's a nemesis, but yes. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, mouse, that makes it your turn. Now I assume that you oh, want to try and fix the uh, the ship, yeah. or do you want to do something else? Yeah, mouse is gonna try to fix the speeder. All right. Uh, so like, yeah, while everybody else is like out, you know, in this like chaotic battle and stuff, mouse is like, huh, that's really odd. I I should probably fix this, right? Yeah. Uh, wait, where is everybody else? All right. Anyway. <laughs> And then she like buries herself back into this console. So yeah. Like, start fixing so because it was a daunting check that you failed on, it's going to be a daunting check to repair it. Uh, but uh, since it can't get much worse, I'm not going to add an upgrade. All right. So there's not really any chance for despair, and I've already removed the black dice from uh, from right. your mechanic skill. So I'm going to actually like flip on my side. Then. Yeah. Go for it. Uh. There. Yep. You have um, your upgrade. Because I need to do this. This needs. This is something that needs to happen. I got hey, nice, cool. So, so you like pull the fuse out, 
Uh, you clean it off because now it's like a little bit charred. You dig through your mechanics tool bag, like yeah, you blow in it like an N64 cartridge, and then you slam it back into the right place. And it takes a moment because then you gotta like reach over and like crank the engine up, right? Yeah. And you hear a. I imagine that the engine dies, like, and I'm just like, fuck, get, and I like punch the console or yeah. hit it with my wrench or something. Absolutely. And then it just like hums to life, and I'm like, yeah, I just. And then I like pop my head out of the, the speeder, and I'm like, "Hey guys, it's working." Yeah, that is one hundred percent what happens. <laughs> and a blaster bolt fire or a slug thrower bolt. Yeah, exactly. Like a I like a and yeah, I and then you to, like, duck, out of the way. duck back in. Absolutely, one hundred percent. You still have a maneuver if you would like. Uh, no, I'm gonna stay in the speeder. Okay, seems safe. Take cover. I'll take well, cover in the speeder. Yeah, t- totally. Uh, Mouse is technically, like, inaccessible to the shooters because she's still inside the speeder, right? Okay. The rest of you had gotten out or were, like, hanging out of it doing stuff. I uh, have a question. What yeah. was the weapon the chieftain was using? Uh, he's using a Sand Panther hunting rifle. I mean, that's what it's called. I mean, it just looks like kind of an ornate weapon, right? It's a blaster, though. It's not a, um, it's not a slug thrower. No. Uh, so it's back I'm to the top. It's back to the top of the order. Uh, who would like to go? Uh, can I try and uh, attack the chieftain from my position, uh, or is he yeah. in, uh, an obstacle? So uh, he uh, is. So it'll get a free upgrade, and on a despair, you'll hit him instead because they're like they're actively like brawling together, right? Um, you mind if I go first? Yeah, sh- sure. Go. <laughs> yeah, so you don't knock me out before I get to do anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna perform a grapple maneuver. Okay. Which basically, uh, until the beginning of the character's next turn, enemies must spend two maneuvers instead of one maneuver to move from a base shortly. Okay. Yeah. So you're basically trying to make it so he can't run away very yeah. easily. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna attack him again. I'm gonna suffer two strain again to increase the damage. Okay. All right. Really? Whenever, whenever you're ready. All right. Look. Uh... Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> many things. Okay. What the? the wait. The, 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 the do those cancel, cancel no, out? No, they don't cancel, cancel out. out. They, they, they do not. They do not cancel, cancel each other out. So right. you're trying to deal strain damage here, right, Ken? Yeah. I have an uh, idea for my despair. Do you know what you want to do for your uh, for your for trial? my advantage? I'm gonna decrease two strain. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and for my trial, I'm gonna I'm hit him. And you're dealing uh, strain damage. Sorry, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and the triumph you said you're gonna crit. Yeah. Okay, let me roll a crit. So it's nine damage. Um... Yeah, he is he is wobbling. Um, let's see what his crit is first. That'll be the most interesting. Yeah. Do you have vicious or anything like it. that? No. Okay, I'm just gonna roll. I may change it if it's not my like. Oh right, you can you can change it if it's not what you yeah. want. That's a pretty good one. That's though. a pretty good one. Yeah. You gonna keep uh, that? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. So he is compromised. So he increases the difficulty of all his skill checks by one difficulty dice until the end of the encounter. That's that's a pretty good one to, to get against him. Um, however, in, yeah, the despair here is, as he was tumbling down the cliff, he's dislodged some large rocks that now no. fall on top of you. Um, so can you roll me a... Uh, I think that the most appropriate way to do this is if you roll me a resilience check. Oh. Uh, I'm which you see, okay with which that. which you're good with, right? It's gonna it's yeah. gonna be like to cause damage to you. Um yeah. and I would say anything that would cause you strain is going to cause you damage instead. Uh and I'm giving it a free upgrade because there's obviously the potential for very bad things to happen. Alright. No black die or anything? More no, I don't think there's black dice on this one. It's just um, the straight up hard difficulty. Question. Yep. As it's a PC turn next, could I take my turn to try and like blast some of the 
rocks? No, I don't think so. Okay. This is because this is the this is the the his role that he rolled the despair yeah, on. Fair enough. Yeah. So, go ahead and All roll right. resilience whenever you're ready. Yeah. yeah. So take take the one wound, right? Um, uh, one wounds all you take from that. But uh, I think that five successes in this in this particular case are going to be enough to where you're not like pinned or anything like that. Like nothing nothing ill. Like one hits you on the head and kind of leaves a dent. But other than that, yeah. you are you are good. Um, however, uh, because I like to be fair, I'm gonna roll for him too. That seems only the most appropriate. Um, Just don't push the sand path. So he uh he does get um oh no never mind it's just remove setback there. so uh yeah so let's roll resilience okay do you uh upgrade the difficulty again uh for oh no good because he's compromised good, good call good call uh let me I'll just re-roll then one more time. Also, I rolled the wrong character anyway, so it's totally fine. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so he doesn't take any um, he doesn't take any wounds from it, and he also is not pinned underneath. You're a little bit taller than him, so you were kind of shielding him from most of the the falling rocks, <laughs> Ken. Yeah. All right. Uh, can I try something? Yeah, it's another PC turn. Whoever wants to go. Yeah. So the two huntsmen above are mm -hmm. at medium range, right? Correct. So that's two. Okay, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suffer two. I'm gonna shoot with both weapons again. I'm gonna suffer two strain to not increase the difficulty. So it's just an average check. Okay. Um, and I have a a cunning plan if depending on my. Okay. So it's There's just an average check. Uh, they don't have any defense and they're not in cover, so. Cool. Whenever you're ready. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna use my maneuver to aim because I'm assuming I'm still in cover, right? Yep. Yeah, you don't you don't leave cover until you yeah. actually move. So I'm using a maneuver to aim, but I have to use a maneuver to aim in short range. Right. So nice. Mm. Okay. Um uh, so I and... don't don't get enough advantage to do the thing I wanted to do. So I just shoot the well. I just shoot one of the huntsmen up there. Yeah. So your first shot hits him squarely, like in the chest, and he stumbles. And because he stumbles, your second shot flies wide. But he looks like severely injured now. Yeah, um, you're, you're pierced too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, you do have pierced too. I didn't even realize that. Actually, he falls. He collapses. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nice. He was he was literally at one wound, but I didn't realize he had pierced too. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. there you go. Last year actuating model for the win. Exactly, absolutely. Um so are you gonna do anything else or are you just you're good? Um yeah, I can't do this. Okay. Uh the chieftain being cornered by Kin is going to uh make his last ditch effort to try and escape the clutches. Well, not escape the clutches, but try and take Kin down. Um, I'm so going to spend uh, one destiny point. I'm going to spend a destiny point to add uh, four failures. His check. <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely. My coordination dodge. Absolutely. Uh, so, he gets... He has a lot of things, though. Uh, that make so, do I better. press uh, use light side or uh, does that... We're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, press click light side. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Uh, so he is going to brawl with you. Uh, his check gets upgraded, though, because of his difficulty. And there's four failures attached to it. Um, however, he is going to suffer a strain uh, to use his friends. It, it's uh, increased difficulty, right? It's not, uh, maybe we did it wrong. Uh, oh, it is increased difficulty you're correct you're correct okay so it's a hard check um so he's going to suffer a strain however one of his very few remaining strain to upgrade his attack because he has frenzied attack and in addition to that i think that's actually i think that's all. um cool 
So, he's going to attack you with his Gabby Stick and hope that he does something significant. Uh, oh, let me add the modifiers 4F. Ah! Cool. Uh, nope. No. No. You, you did save yourself from getting hit, though. Yeah. Yeah. You did just, you uh, save yourself from just getting hit. Just using my arm just to slap his uh, stick away. Yep. Absolutely, that's what happens. Uh, and and uh, shoot him now, please. A two advantage. Oh. Just the thing is, you, you, he already has two um, red dice, and if you try to shoot him with me that close, it's going to be another right die. So it's yeah. going to be three but red. You can do whatever sure. you want. Can I try and roll coordination to not hit you, or no? I'm no, pretty yeah. sure that's just a penalty of. Yeah. The system. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I guess that I I will try anyway because I feel lucky. Okay. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, so it's a okay. short range shot. It got three upgrades to it. Uh, he gets one defense. Uh, or no, he doesn't have any defense against range. I'm sorry. Um, are you gonna aim with your maneuver? Yes. Okay. I'll get you a blue dice. Whenever you're ready. Oh, you can't hit me. Yes! Oh. I got nice. Woo. So, um, nine damage, which does pierce his soak. Uh, and again, he looks he looks injured both mentally and physically at this point. <laughs> he is he is really beat up, but he is not down and out yet. Uh, Dash, are you gonna do anything else? You could uh, think things that you could do is like suffer too strain to take cover. Um, uh, you could uh, yes. move again. Okay, suffer too strain to take cover. Sure. Yep. All right. So you are now in cover. I, I currently have uh, one that will probably try and avenge his chieftain, so I I would try and take cover. Yeah. No. There there is one still standing. Um. And I'm gonna roll a discipline check for him because he's kind of all alone now, and uh, maybe doesn't doesn't really feel like being in the fight anymore. We'll see. Uh, discipline. Willpower. And then I think the difficulty here is just going to be average. Average seems the most appropriate. All right, let's see. He's going to fight. Uh, he is going to suffer for it, though. Okay. So he's going to fight. Um, and I think that... Uh, let's see. Who's he going to shoot at? I think he's going to shoot at Jax, because Jax just killed his friend. Uh, he's hoping the Chieftain can deal with the other two down there, which obviously he can't. But Jax, I think this one's coming at you, buddy. Three black dice. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, uh, F you. <laughs> so, uh, it's medium range. Uh, you know what? No, actually, no. I'll stick. No, I'm good. Medium range, one for defense, one for cover, and then what's the third black dice for? Oh, I thought it was two for cover, my bad. No, it's one for cover. Okay. Two black dice uh, and a fuck you. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's going to aim with his, with his, one, his one maneuver. And uh, he's going to shoot at you with a slug thrower. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Misses. <laughs> so, Mouse, this is, this is that slug thrower round that mi narrowly missed your head, right? Like, right before you yeah. ducked in. This is the one that, like, narrowly missed and made you, like, dive back into the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Into the cab. Cool. All right. Well, I love it. Basically, his turn. I love causing problems for people. Uh, leaving us with <laughs> Banthas now. Banthas. I'm I'm Nothing hoping to get a failure forward. at some point here, so Banthas can start going crazy. But we'll see. We'll see how they do. Nope. Oof. They're totally fine. Banthas. You know what? They are. They are thankful for being released, and they're just going to continue to wander about. <laughs> They're probably, like, trying to find shrubs to graze on. They have no care for anything going on right now. Banthas are stupid. <laughs> All right. Banthas are technically semi-sentient. Because <laughs> everything is semi-sentient on Tatooine. <laughs> That's true. Uh, so I think that, uh, yeah, Xian and Mouse are the two left to go. Uh, I'm going to throw try to throw a Bantha onto the remaining uh, Huntsman. <laughs> and this is like, this is like really angry. Just if anybody's looking at him, his eyes might flash a little yellow and, sure. you know. Uh, so uh, I am going to aim. 
So it's average. I'm going to give you the blue <laughs> dice. Uh, right. It's, it's, it's an average check, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whenever, whenever you're ready. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. So. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So it's it's one to increase silhouette, one to increase range, and one to use, right? So all yeah, you need so is three. I can, so I can lift something up to silhouette three. I can move it uh, from medium range up to long range. Yeah, he's at and medium. And one to do it. Yep. Cool. So, awesome. So uh, yes, so yeah. Hundred percent. So this this bantha actually, we'll, we'll say this bantha was coming over here to this shrub, right, to like eat it, and Zian, you see him coming around the corner, and you just. What does it? Yeah. What does it look like when you lift him up uh, and just toss him in that direction? Like I, gl I glare with these like hateful eyes, hand out, and then do that. You know, really quick, f fling it to the to the direction it's going to. Remember in the mid two thousands and video games when ragdoll physics were really popular? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And so that's gonna do twenty damage. Yeah. No. It's. <laughs> It lands on him. You hear a sickening crunch. Yeah, did uh, I kill him? Because I'm oh, gonna get a lot of conflict. Oh a yeah, no. He, he he only had nine health, uh, nine wounds okay. remaining. So I think that's um, like an automatic ten conflict right there. I, yeah, I, I I would agree. It is a lot. Uh, especially, let's see if you hurt the bantha. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll, in, I'll in have your, to throw on your, some more conflict. Yeah, in your tossing of him. Yeah. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, I would love it if the bounty is completely unharmed. Yeah. It just like goes back to grazing. I love um, it. Well, actually, it's it's totally possible because the banthas uh, they have a lot of they have a lot of uh, strength, like a lot yeah. of strength. Um, so yeah, let's let's see here. Totally fine. You see the bantha like lands, like kind of like shakes like, himself, and then like just wanders off across the hilltop. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Anything else, Ian? No, that's it. All right, uh, Mouse, it's your turn. Hello. Um, there's like nothing. I don't know. Uh, there's really not a lot left for me to do. Uh, I could. You could uh, drive the speeder. Ken's engaged, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's also this um, wire, like, you could, you could like, down. run up and, and disable this wire or something, you know? Is it blocking us? Yeah, so it's still taut, like, across the, across the path. Uh. If you um, wanted something non-combat to do, I'm just trying to suggest things. Yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I mean, that's blocking our, our path of egress, correct? That's where we're uh, Ingress. Going. Ingress? Yeah. You're on yeah, the we outside. Were in, we were trying to get into that like formation, and the wire is what stopped us, and then that sprung the trap. Okay. Um, instead of getting out and doing a bunch of maneuvers to get over there to cut a wire, I'm yep. going to try to take aim with my sniper rifle and, and just shoot it. Absolutely. Sniper. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, a medium range, so it's average. Um, I'm going to add... I'm gonna add one. I'm gonna add two black dice because you're trying to shoot at like this tiny, like it's basically silhouette zero, uh, as yeah, opposed to silhouette yeah. one. Um, uh, but I will take a maneuver to aim. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever uh, you're ready. You could aim twice. No, if I you want to take two strain, you could aim twice. Yeah, I'll take the strain. I'll aim twice. Okay, you got two blue dice. I'm putting on the strain. Uh, ranged heavy. Thank you. I failed. Oof. Yeah, so re you can reduce the two strain, though. Um, I'll reduce that two strain. Hey, yeah. I shot nothing. Also remember, you can just click You can just click the weapon. The weapon actually has a roll that will automatically use oh, your okay. ranged heavy. Yeah, it's no problem. Um, yeah, so, like, you probably, like, you, you maybe hit it, but it doesn't break it, right? Like, it just, like, kind of ricochets off um, and doesn't actually snap the wire. I'm not very good at shooting yet. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Range heavy is not bad. Yeah. No. All right. Uh, so PC turn. Ken, do you want to finish? Right. Do you want to finish I'm them off? I'm gonna finish it off. I'm all gonna. Right. Have... All right. So I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna use a maneuver to mm -hmm. activate my shock gloves. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna attack him, and I'm gonna suffer two strain to uh, add damage equal to a coordinate. Okay. So, uh, I'm sure. Um, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna gonna fit in the numbers here for the shock gloves that the uh, that Yeah, no problem. All right. You just gotta uh, hit, basically. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah. Hey, there it is. Yeah, yeah. so that will be a 10 damage and 3 that ignores soak. Yep, and uh, you shock him. And I basically the... just put both of my hands up to his head and just... <laughs> yeah, we see, like, the... We see, like, the... From Mouse and Zian and Jack's perspective, we just see Kin... Like, we don't see the the dude. And then we just see, like, lightning blasting out and, like, illuminating the, the cliff face with, like, this blue, uh, these blue electric, electric strikes, right? Um, and then he just collapses at your feet. I'm just going to specify I'm, I'm bending over to pick up his feet. Yeah. Uh, well, it's totally fine because we're out of combat now. Yeah. Oopsie. Uh, he's he's stunned. By the way, he's not. Uh, yeah, he's not dead. Uh, he's not yeah. dead. I didn't kill anyone this time. <laughs> I think I'm I checking. killed someone. Mouse Ash walks checking. over and uh, examines the rifle because I have. I it's, it's on my back. What? It's on my back. You took it? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, start healing. I have range heavy. Um, I'm. You have range heavy now too. Examines the body. Yeah, it has since. Uh, Jax will take his grapple gun and to like check him out and see what else he can see out <laughs> here. Yeah. So when you get up there, um, no, I'll no, no, I did that for a very good reason. I have to make a range attack now to hit. Yeah, I'll move you to the other side so you can see like the rest of the platform. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to aim once. <laughs> What? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna aim once. I need to make the roll to actually hit with my grapple gun. Oh, actually, it's an oh, average. Oh, now. perfect. It's an average range uh, light. Yeah, let me let me get your average. Okay, with go for it. Dice. With uh, with a blue dice doesn't oh, matter. For fuck's sake! Can you roll the blue dice, please? Sure. Oh, you want advantage. I'm just desperately trying to recover. Well, so so here's the here's the thing. No. Right. Okay. That's karma for you. Um yeah. you everyone can roll a discipline check and it doesn't have a doesn't have a difficulty. Um everyone can roll a discipline check and recover uh equal to successes, I think. Yeah. That amount of strain. So if you want if, if anyone wants to do that, you can do that right now. I'll do that right now. Ooh. That's no problem right now. So yeah. Alright, so I got I get one. Oh great. Yep. Are advantages yeah. useful for anything? I can't remember on that. No, I think on this it's only successes, okay. yeah. Um as I'm up here, I will check out this <clears throat> guy. Yeah, I don't so see anything else from up here. Oh, there's a little path. Yeah, so you see like you see the little path now and you realize too, Jax, once you get up here, that this has been specifically cut away. This isn't natural for this plateau to be like this. It seems like it's specifically been set up at like as an ambush point. Can I roll a pers do I need to roll a perception check to see was it the sand people that cut this out or is it just they It's use it's clearly that done by tools is what I can tell you. You don't need a perception check to know that. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Um so Jax, when you bend down and look at that guy, uh you see that he has uh first of all he's got a gaffy stick on him. Uh and he's also got like a pretty basic slug thrower ranged heavy medium range slug there are. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of bad dice <laughs> it fits but it's no good um i i am making a decision about that i mean yeah so i think that i i want to go talk to zian about that real quick though because yeah. you're sitting there and you're like you're trying to heal yourself right yeah and the rage is still like flowing within you and yep you can't heal yourself with rage and so you just get more angry about it right yeah it's just like ah what is this so gonna keep trying every every few whatever is appropriate amount yeah. of break between heals 
so yeah i think i think that we'll have to like get to a perhaps like a new scene or whatever until you can subside your rage you know once we once we're finished here maybe you can roll again so kim um, kim will look through uh the chieftain's ropes and see if yeah so the chieftain um he has a couple of things uh so he's got a gaffy stick and his sand panther hunting rifle which are obviously valuable um he's got the uh he's got those like uh gaffy the reinforced um actually <laughs> gaffy sticks are like 100 credits right? gaffy sticks are extremely valuable to sand people and this is a chieftain's gaffy stick i'm oh. picking it up so that's that's even more valuable it might mean nothing to anyone else but to sand people it's very important yeah, um, so we hold on to that, we need to I talk to somebody. Fucking mm. thing works like. Yeah. So uh, he's you also wearing. Dash. Do I don't care. Oh, so, I, was say, I can grab you one of these. Uh, keep one of these rifles, but not interested. So he's also. Uh, Ken, anyway. he's also wearing um, the reinforced environmental gear, right? Like the the sand people garb that helps them survive in the the hot Tatooine right, wilderness. Yeah. Um, he also has, uh, oh, hold on. He, he has something else on him. Um, as you're, like, digging through his pockets, you come across a small, like, stone, uh, you would call it, like, maybe a crest or adornment or trinket of some sort. Um, but it has a symbol on it. Oh, hey, the Sand Panther is a slug thrower. Yeah. Oh, is it? I thought it was a blaster. Like, it's a, it's yeah, a I, I'm just looking thrower. for the rules of for a slug for a rifle, and it's right underneath it, so. Oh. I th yeah, I figured it was a slug thrower. Some people don't usually use blasters. All right, what, what's the trinket? Uh, Hold on, I'm, I'm getting you an image so you can see what it looks like. Also, I was helping uh, um, Ken. I was just, like, so looking through her scope because she thinks she might have misaligned the... <laughs> Misaligned the lenses when she took it apart. Can I see this this way? Is this does it work like this? Come on, computer! I believe in you. She's like looking at Jax. She's like, Jax, hold up three fingers. <laughs> Jax holds up three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> huh. um, so this is anything. the symbol that you see on on the um. Oh. On the crest. Mm. That's All well right. creepy. Also, she is pointing a rifle at you accidentally. <laughs> Alright. It's like a um, medallion or something? Yeah, that it's like it's like a small down. flat like flattened stone that's been etched with this symbol in it. Alright. Like a sand um. dollar. <laughs> Ken is gonna put it in the pocket. Okay. Po you're gonna pocket it, Ken? I have, I have a huge. He has encumbrance, so he has to, right? Yeah. He has some sort of compartment. He has great coat on, doesn't he? Yeah, I have a great coat. Oh. Um, so, how, I will have, I'm gonna sling his rifle and his gaffy stick over my shoulders for now. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna walk over to here, and can I see a way of untauntening the string like yeah they activated so, it somehow so, so where wondering. where you're at you can see that there is um there's like a it's it's kind of like a lever that very clearly maybe like drops a weight that pulls the thing taut um so you can check to pull it before no you mouse... you don't need to roll a check you can just I do know, it I'm before that mouse takes another pot shot at the string hey, you want to shoot at it again hold on no, i I'm just gonna automatically miss like Okay, yeah. You shoot at it as he's doing it, and it just, like, as it goes slack. You know, you're pretty sure you would have hit it if Jax hadn't done that. I did it! I'm pretty sure I did it. And then I'm gonna zip down to this guy and just check him out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all the regular sand people just have gaffy sticks. That's all they have. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gathering all the gaffy sticks. Okay, sure. That's a lot of sticks. So... Well, like, I've, let's say I've got it four from, like, these guys. I'm just going to put them in the back. Like, I'm assuming the speeder has, like, a storage compartment. Yep. Yeah, the speeder's got a storage compartment. Just you can put them in. chucking them all the, all the stuff in there for now. Sure. Absolutely. Just in case we ever come across more sand people and we have to barter with them or something. So, um, so um, Kim will walk over. 
to Seattle. You're taking are you you're taking the guy's body, right? You have control over it, by the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lift him with me. Uh, I'm not gonna strip uh, his uh, clothing off. So I feel like that will. I always wanted to know what's under a yeah, we shouldn't mask. But, uh, and I will tell Sian that uh, I knocked him out. Figured maybe he wasn't. Yeah. I'll just I'm punch guessing... him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that was the right timing for that. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> he just pu- like just punches him. Because he's the one who shot you, right? Like, Yeah. <laughs> he's the source of your ire. Sian, yeah. what's wrong? You seem a little mad. I got shot. Badly. <laughs> So did Jax, but he doesn't seem to be freaking out. I thought he shot quite well. <laughs> um, Jordan? Yes? Just very quickly, was the one that got smushed with a banta, was he up there as well? Yeah, but all of his stuff was destroyed. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> just, just all of it. The gaffy stick is in like 30 pieces. The slug thrower's bent. Okay, no worries. Uh, I, hold on, let me... This is what I always like to do. Blood. Uh, There's just a smear up there. Yeah, no, no, no. Hold on, I will, I will physically put a smear up there for you. Uh, here we go. Uh, I named that one and everything. There. <laughs> Blood. His name was Terrence, and he was the smallest sand person. <laughs> and every day he would go to the watering hole and try to <laughs> pull water from the watering hole, but he wasn't strong enough. And he wanted desperately to be one of the sand people <laughs> warriors. Don't make it personal. You make me feel bad for him dying. 